what we're, what we're going to be talking about sharing tonight, <clears throat> this afternoon, is actually something that can't be spoken. It can't be spoken because there's no actual distance to it. There's no way to know it. There's no position that's outside of it to be able to identify it or to point to it. So even saying pointing to it is misleading. The suggestion is that that reality or that everything is what's happening. So thinking, feeling, sitting, looking, hearing, <clears throat> all of that is what's happening. And the suggestion is that happening is not separate, is not knowable, it's unknowing. That unknowable, non-separate, <coughs> everythingness or absolute, is because there is no other, complete and whole. It's fulfilled. This is fulfilled. This is fulfillment. There is an energy that can arise in this everything, in this fulfillment, that has the experience of being separate. It has the experience of looking out of the eyes. It has the experience of knowing it's sitting on the chair. It has the experience of knowing what's being said and understanding. That experience of being inside the body, knowing what's happening, seeing everything outside, is uncomfortable. It's, it's edgy. It's contracted. And that contracted experience begins then seeking for, or is the energy that seeks fulfillment. <clears throat> this appearance, as we've spoken about already, is already fulfilled. So the situation is then you have a separate energy, a contracted sense of here, that is looking for what is already. Moreover, that contracted sense of here is also what is, is also fulfillment, appearing as a contracted, unfulfilled energy. So it's seeking for what is already. It's seeking for the end of separation. It is truly seeking for the end of seeking, which is the end of itself. It will never find this. It will never find fulfillment. Because fulfillment isn't separate. It's unknowable. So the situation for that separate seeking energy of I am here, is hopeless. <laughs> it's hopeless because it can't find anything but separation is separation. So the seeking, the energy itself, is separation, looking for something else. And as there is nothing else than what appears, or what's happening, it'll never find it. There's no suggestion that it needs to stop happening. There's no suggestion that seeking is wrong, or somehow misguided, or, well, misguided, it's misguided, but somehow inappropriate, or it needs to change. It's not what's being suggested, it's just being pointed out that it's hopeless. It will never find the end of itself. Although what it's looking for, what it really wants, is the end of it. Go for it. Um, is there 
any part of this imagined thing that will, knowing that on an intellectual level, search for its own immolation? No, absolutely not. Okay. Even if it looks for its own immolation, immolation is burning yourself. Okay. But searching for the end of itself is just maintaining itself. Because it's not already. So it's just another way of... It's just any, any activity on that oh, level is just a confirmation of its need for finding something else. Okay. It's already not. There's already no one. So, so there will never be anything in this instruction that is actually going to be helpful. Yeah, Absolutely not. The word helpful is... Absolutely not. Yeah. There's no intention. And it's not instruction because it's not instructing anybody. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a, a sharing, you could say, a pointing, a sharing. And a description of how the individual, through its seeking, just maintains itself in a dream world, <coughs> okay. an imaginary experience. You're talking about permission to form? Yeah. Could you say? Something? Well, I think you're talking to something I said on a video. Yeah. That some... I think the whole thing goes like this. Everybody already knows this, mm -hmm. and of course nobody knows this, mm -hmm. but somehow this is already obvious, mm -hmm. and that contracted energy actually is looking for survival, and it feels like it needs to continue to seek and find what it's looking for, and hearing this, or sharing this, can sometimes be sort of a permission, is what I was pointing to, where hearing it can loosen up that contracted sense of needing to find something else. But that's just a byproduct, right? That loosening up that you're talking about is... There's no intention, if that's what you mean. That's not the intention of this meeting. There's no right. intention. Oh, no, right. But that feeling that you may feel a loosening up, that's still inside the dream, that loosening. Yeah, so there is, there is nothing really happening. So anything that seems to be really happening is still part of the dream. Okay. Is there, there's nothing that's actually understanding any of the words that are being spoken here? At all. Excuse me? There's nothing that's understanding what's being spoken. Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> that's just what's happening. Not understanding would be what's happening. No, it's not better than understanding. No, I mean, like the, the thing that thinks it understands sentences and understands concepts, like this conversation that seems to be happening between two people, but there's nothing that's actually understanding the words. No, absolutely. Yeah. It's just what's happening. That, that feeling of trying to follow what's happening. Yeah. <clears throat> that's not happen that's that's clearly not happening over there. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Right. It would, the, the conversation would happen without that. It, it does happen without that. Mm -hmm. Same there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There isn't anybody there. There just might be something that comes in and says, I'm doing that. Yeah. I'm understanding it. I'm understanding mm -hmm. it. Because there's just, there's just this conversation. There's mm -hmm. no one in it. Mm -hmm. It's emptiness appearing as a conversation. Mm -hmm. that's, that's it. There isn't a person. But there might be that separate energy, that contracted energy that arises and says, Ah, I'm hearing this, I'm understanding that. That's good, that's not good. Mm -hmm. He's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Tony joke. It was, wasn't that it? That was a Tony joke. Yeah. Totally Tony. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> But I'm prettier than Tony. Yes. Tony is Tony. That's an opinion. <laughs> That's true. Uh, question. The gentleman asked you before we started, he said, do you have any opinion about the shutdown? And you said yes. Yeah. So opinion is just like anything else. And, well, there, everything is just like anything else. It's just what's happening. So, but in conversation, we say, I this, I did that. Would you like something? I say, yes, I would like something. So there's that colloquialism of the I. The I never seems to disappear, even though it doesn't exist in the first place. Yeah, well, otherwise you'd have to take on invite to, invite to English or something, and that would be really right. annoying. So then why is it? So why the is arising it? of wanting a glass of water <laughs> seems to be happening <laughs> to no one. Okay. Could that body over there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
that's how so that's clear. Yeah, that's how I talk. I always talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> but the I seems to be very important because it is used colloquially in all conversation. I don't know what you mean. Well, I mean, someone says, would you like, would you, that's the I. Yeah, but it doesn't have any meaning. It's no, I'm saying what you're talking about. If you heard the conversation when we were talking about um, opinions. Right, I didn't say that. We didn't actually meaning. get to the, to the opinions. Because, no, but you're saying it's meaningful. Or it's no, important. I didn't say that. Important. No, I didn't say that. Oh, sorry, I misunderstood. Yes. No, I'm saying it's used. Yeah. And it, and this conversation seems to be about the, the most, or the clearest thing that you say about this whole thing is that the I doesn't really exist. That's the one unreal thing. Yeah. And yet it's always used, even after that's recognized yeah. by no one. Yeah. So it, so how does, so that's just the way it is. Apparently. Apparently. It doesn't mean anything. All right. Why are you doing this? I'm not. But you didn't ask the question either. But you see a separate energy in describing that's been doing it. You're actually seeing that energy, right? As a no one's seeing. If, the, if there's an individual, the individual will see objects. <coughs> there's a subject-object reality. And that object then appears to be solid and real, knowable. When there's no one left, that's obviously just the infinite appearing as a body. It doesn't have a beginning or an end. It's unknowable. Oh, in other words, it's, it's oneness. So what's emerging out of absolute? Well, nothing emerges. But energy separate energy. <laughs> it's not, it, right? but that is oneness. Okay, so it is oneness. Nothing emerges. There's just everything or wholeness. This doesn't actually move. Nothing is really happening. It's only apparent. <laughs> and how is it sensed in the Well, of course it's not. In a parent physical body. How this has no... Who would know? Who could step outside of everything to point or to know everything? What position could you take? That's the dream of the individuals. I have a position in which I know what's happening. That's an illusion. Okay. But that position it. is actually everything. So there's no position. It's a dream. If there's a dream that we're aware of, there has to be a dreamer. Or is there just a dream? The dream and the dreamer are the same thing. Okay. Good. <clears throat> it's just a taking of the imaginary position. It, well, nobody takes a position, but it is the arising of a position that experiences itself as separate from everything. Mm -hmm. when so you might, you, sorry. Uh, sorry, might you say that the illusion of us is an arising of a particular position? Yeah. Even you had started the meeting, I think, saying this can't be spoken. It can't be said. Yeah, can't be said. Yet you talk about it. Well, actually, it never gets said. There's a sense that you could say uh, there's a pointing, a suggestion, but it, you can't possibly say everything. At the same time, every word is everything. But I agree with you completely. This is an absolutely pointless talk. And it is for some, when they get stuck to the words, very misleading. That's just what ha seems to happen. When you were speaking to that um, lady, you said something about the rising of a position. Yeah. But that's illusory, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. Not a real position. <laughs> Nothing is real. Yeah. I once asked you if there was a 
a fascination with what is, and you said, no, maybe a love for yeah. it. Could you talk about that more? I don't remember the love bit, but fascination would suggest that there's somebody fascinated. So there's no but fascination with what is. There is love. Yeah, yeah. Well, love is everything. Unconditional love. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Literally, I mean, it doesn't mean anything. You couldn't define it. Can't be talked about. <laughs> so when, when a parent individual collapsed or died or stopped existing as a result what's the end result of that as a love or one as how does it present like I know there's nobody to perceive it or nobody to uh, sense it but so how is it um, emerges or how is it uh, received by this that? is that there is this no is one. it but, but, for example, okay. No, it's, you're saying, what you're trying to say is it'll be different or something's going to happen. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't happen. There's no one. But the apparent one... Yeah, who had that's existed. a dream. It's an yeah. illusion. There's an apparent one that seems to go around with free will and choice bringing about certain events. In, and, a, real, and, in a real world. And you has died and no longer there. And it, but it, when it dies, it never happened. It's not really dying. Is not really stopping. It never happened. There is no separate reality. There is no separate reality. <laughs> but at the very moment when that realization happens, to yeah. whoever that individual has been or never existed. Yeah. At that moment, what's yeah. recognized, yeah. it never happened. But apparently somehow it happened because you are sitting here talking to us about it. So. Well, no, I'm not. Well, I'm apparently you are because I'm seeing, I'm looking at you. <laughs> yeah, but there's no one here. I agree with that. But well, you don't know that. But, but no, yeah. But apparently you are here and I'm here, you're talking, I hear myself talking. Well, that's, that's, well, that's the whole crux of it, isn't it? <laughs> you're hearing it and you want to know what it means to you. And it doesn't mean anything to you because there isn't a you. There's simply this apparent <clears throat> happening, which is all there is. It's the absolute. This is the absolute already. It can't be brought about. It can be apparently covered over through the illusory experience of being an individual. <clears throat> it's still not gone. Nothing happened. That apparent individual experience that covers it over is also the absolute. There is nothing that will ever happen that will bring the absolute around about because it is the absolute already. Jimmy, did it happen to you? Obviously. It didn't happen. <laughs> it must have. It doesn't happen. The part that you can't hear is you're not already. <laughs> I'm not anywhere near you are. But no, no, you, you there's, there's, there's no right? difference yeah. except for the claim that there's a difference. From your point of view. No. <laughs> No, the, the experience of the individual is so minute and tiny. <laughs> its experience is like it's huge and it's all over the place. It's got a whole world and wars and things to worry about. And, and government shutdowns and all those things that are all really important, which it needs to have opinions and thoughts about. It's huge. And when it collapses, <laughs> when, it, when it falls away, when it dies, it's not worth mentioning. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> However subtle that may be, it, it must have been something. You, Jim Newman, being a seeker for years or decades, perhaps I don't know. It's suddenly that subtlety happened to you. I want to hear that subtle. Well, I've already said, I've already told you what that I suddenly didn't happened. Did, didn't it. it didn't happen. But that's what's recognized. Well, what you're saying is that there's a real past. 
which led to this, yeah. and it's going to lead to something else. That is the dream of the individual that is hoping that there's <laughs> going to be a certain experience which is going to bring about what you assume happened here. Yeah. Doesn't happen. <laughs> Nothing's real. This is already everything. This is already the happening. There's only happening. There's only happening. There's frustration <laughs> happening. There's body happening. There's words happening. This happening is home. There's not another happening. And it's not changing. Apparently it changes, but it's not real. So it, so like so there's nowhere for the happening that the individual is looking for to happen. So even if it seems like uh, there's a separate individual here forever, whatever that means, <laughs> it's not happening anyway. No, so it doesn't make absolutely. any difference. Uh, nothing makes any difference. Yeah. So there's no right or wrong. No, of course not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that like just all happenings are the same? So there's well, I'm not talking about all between. happenings. I'm saying there's only what's happening, and this is that. Okay. But it's only apparently changing. Exactly. Yeah. So, so, so um, a serial killer is only apparently remorseful, maybe. A serial killer is unconditional love appearing as a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> Who happens to possibly be experiencing remorse? In or not? Or not? Yeah. Well, there's got to be some kind of apparent liberation happen. Like you know. Why? I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm here. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. But no, you've got it. That's a right nail on the head. Because I'm here. Something has to happen for me not to be here. You're not here. <laughs> the end of you isn't an experience. It isn't something else that you're going to add to yourself to know what you, that you found what you were looking for. The end of you is the end of seeking. It's not finding. It's a loss. It's simply a loss of seeking. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's wonderful. I, I want to lose it. Okay, how do I... Oh, well, you don't, actually. <laughs> <laughs> So it's some what, of, what you want, what, what you really want, or what the individual really wants, is the release of not having to anymore. But that means it can't be anymore. So it's the last thing it wants. It wants to be free. It wants, exactly, personally. It wants to be free and know it's free. Yeah. <laughs> it's impossible. Yeah. So is part of this illusory being um, that this this being wants is to also witness itself? Is that part of the... Well, self-consciousness. Yeah. yeah, so the, the capacity... To well, it's just, it's just an effort to survive. An effort so, to control so the situation. Self-consciousness is really trying to be a good person. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a straitjacket. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I, this I, that is illusory, experiences a desire to witness myself. Right, to step outside. Yeah, detachment. And yeah. yeah. So so part of my imagination of becoming enlightened. Yeah. The, the part of this I imagination and the part that I imagine resisting yeah. is the part that won't get a chance to witness the me. Mm. Right? Yeah, so that's what's happening. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's nothing we can uh, do to make that happen. There happens. isn't actually we <laughs> to do it. <clears throat> Doing apparently happens, but no one does it. Okay. The experience of being a separate individual is not proof of a separate individual. Seems like it is. Oh, I know. <laughs> it lives in experience. It knows through experience. And because it experiences itself, it knows that experience is true. That's the truth. And so it wants to experience or know that it's no longer there, or that this is the absolute, or that it's free. But it never does experience itself. Well, it experiences, it has the experience I am. <clears throat> it knows it is. It knows it's, let's say, talking. But that's it. That's the claim. Of course, it's not responsible for anything, but that's what they claim. I no, chose it's just they claim. It's just totally. they claim. Oh. 
So does that claim that I am, is that like the root of illusion? The root is a contraction out of which I am arises. There's something prior to that. Okay. Yeah. An energetic contraction. Yeah. Okay. And, and when you're saying contraction, you're not on the on the physical. Soul, you are on the energy? I am. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's physical. It's, like it's, phys phys it's physical. Like muscle? Like muscles, yeah. Okay. Ooh, what? Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe me. Contraction. I find it hard, a little hard to believe. Yeah, I wouldn't. Not that you have a choice, but I mean, could a doctor like examine <laughs> people, uh, and tell uh, and I mean, find their contraction? Physical, yeah, yeah, maybe. I mean, you can feel tension in the body. I'm sure they can measure tension in the body. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Isn't saying there's a physical contraction out of which I am arises a jump in, in reality? No, can you just to say to that. I mean, I am is a total jump in reality. Yeah. I am creates a totally separate reality. A reality of separation. But the description that you gave about the contraction of the body, yeah. that's only apparent. I mean, that, that, that everything is that only didn't apparent. didn't really happen. Nothing really happens. Okay. But in the story of the individual, at about two years old, there was, about, there was a contraction in the body that created the experience of I am separate from everything else that seems to be happening. That's a dream. Are there like limits in how you carry this into practical life? Or oh, completely. You can't. There is no practical life. This is not applicable. So what is it? It's, it's just pointing to the reality that this is all there is. This is everything. It's absolute, undifferentiated, wholeness. So the, the desire to like make this work somehow in my... It, it, that still is part of the individual's dream that something needs to work, that it has free will and choice, that something's really happening and something really not happening. Yeah. Nothing's really happening. It only apparently happens and nothing really not happens. Nothing's dependent on what's happening. This has no goal. It's already whole and complete. This is the happening. So, um... Oh, God. <laughs> I can... I can... <laughs> Can I try it? Can I yeah, please. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so, um, my experience, my apparent experience of me in the world, my I have this. It's a dream. There's nothing. Yes. To, there's nothing to talk about. <coughs> the suggestion here is that entire experience is illusory. Yes. Given that I believe in this, this illusion, makes no difference. I, You're still not. Right. Yes. But may I <clears throat> speak about a part that I mean? That you is, still won't be. I mean, what you're going to tell me is that there's a story with free will and choice. Is going to be, my yeah. urge here is to get confirm back into being. No, no. There's an apparent experience of a separate individual, yes. and you're trying to tell me that it has some meaning or purpose, or that there's a good or a bad, or something with it that you want to look at. Yes. It's a dream. It's an illusion. It's not happening already. So there's no way, to, there's no answer here. There's nothing on offer. Okay, I'm just going to stick with that. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. So I'm going to Thanks. Mm -hmm. I thought this was a service. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. All misleading. <laughs> <laughs> you have to read the, the small print. <laughs> I thought it was a radical way to, ex to exhaust the meat, you know. <laughs> and there's no change in any of it, huh? No change. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. yeah. But it seems like it would be very difficult to 
it, it's sort of like cooked into thinking that it's self-referential. So the internal dialogue. Actually, it's not. Okay. It seems thinking, like it is. thinking isn't self-referential. It's the energy of the me that owns thinking that creates sort of a dynamic, which makes it appear self-referential. Thinking's not really a problem. It's the ownership of the individual that makes it into an issue. When there's no one taking responsibility, no one taking ownership from thoughts, then it's just, it's just what appears. A hand appears, a thought appears, a question appears, a body appears. It's just what happened. So what do you mean by it's not happening then? It's, what's happening isn't real. Isn't real. Like well, nor is it unreal. We just had a dream last night. It's happening. There's a clear spot when you wake up in the morning. Nothing exists. Nothing happens. Like the dream, me in the dream, is the same as the dream story. Yeah, absolutely. So it's like a lucid dream now? Like, no, no, there's dream? nobody dreaming. <laughs> there's no dream. There's no one. Only apparently. Well, everything is only apparent. This contraction still happens in your apparent body, or the contracted energy of the me no longer seems to arise. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only contraction there is, or there is other. Well, I think there's contraction needed to do that. It's like functional. It's functional. <laughs> And, and this is the very uh, contraction you're talking about that uh, brings up all the thought of I am and being this in existence, or, or initially thought arises and takes ownership of that. No, 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 no. It's the, it's the contracted sense of here, and it's the contracted sense of I am, that then takes ownership of everything else in an effort to control circumstances. And that causes you thinking, I am, and this is my energy, and I'm being here, sitting here. The, 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 it, the I am that arises takes ownership of everything that arises. It takes ownership for thoughts and feelings. Because mm. it has a plan. It has a plan, it has a story about what its life's about, what's good and bad and right and wrong, how it's going to find what's missing. And the thoughts are then put into that system as it arises, good or bad thoughts, right and wrong thoughts. It's where personal judgment comes from. Because people are doing what I think I need to do to find what is missing are good people. And people that aren't doing what I think my story is about to find what is missing are bad people. And, and when, there, when there's no point to this, when there's no intention to this anymore, then there's no good and bad. And all this arises in your consciousness and awareness. Well, it, it arises in the dream of the individual. It's an illusion. It's not real. The contraction and thoughts, they both happening. happening. Everything and is simply happening. But it's not really happening. <clears throat> this isn't really happening. And to see that not happening, you need to have that none. And that nobody sees it's not happening. There's just nobody left seeing it really happening. It's not a game. There's nothing really missing. There's nothing that needs to be added to you to make this okay. The experience that it's not okay is the only not okayness about it. When that experience is no longer happening, everything is simply where it is. Nothing's missing. So nothing, is, nothing needs to be added. There's not a missing experience there that's going to bring about what's looked for. What we're sharing here is the end of that dream, which then reveals nothing is needed. I can see nothing can be gained or added or achieved, but perhaps the opposite is missing. Something that's already huge. There's nothing. There's nothing like that missing. That energy. Like there's there's nothing missing. That energy just drop. is an illusion. It's not real. Nothing needs to happen for it to stop. It's exactly the same. It's exactly, it's, it, everything appears exactly the same. Everything appears as it appears. I'm not sure what you mean by exactly no, the there's same. There's no difference um, there in the way things are appearing. No. Mm. So 
Do I should stop doing yoga and stuff? <laughs> but that's the same thing. You're still talking about adding something to you. That there's something happening that could be right or wrong, mm -hmm. and so there's something you could do he to make. Stop. He said stop. I know. Oh, sorry. Okay. Something you should do or not do. That would be better. You don't do it. So that says something about the way we could or could not do things. No, it doesn't say anything about the way you could or couldn't do things. It says, it says that the way you think you're doing things is illusory. You're not doing anything. So if yoga appears, you are yoga a if yoga happens, yoga happens. There's simply what's happening. There's no right or wrong with any of it. There's no need for right or wrong. It's, all, it's intentionless. This doesn't actually need anything. There's nothing missing in this. It doesn't, it doesn't need a completion. It is complete. So would I have a better shot at getting this? No, of course not. By... <laughs> If There's I no never you. attended another one of these meetings again, or if I kept attending these meetings. <laughs> well, well, it depends. How much you, did you pay? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, Tony. No, there's no correlation. There's no you that can decide. Oh, okay. There's no me that can decide, but in the future I will do one. Well, if there's no one. you, the whole premise of doing something or not doing something to bring about no yeah. you okay. falls apart. Because There's no already control. no you. There's no me, and there, even me if there was, is the no experience control. that I have. I have free will and choice. If there's no free will and choice, what is me? And the suggestion is there's no me. There's no free will and choice. So you're saying just whatever is going to happen is going to happen. And well, nothing I happened. I can't affect it. Anymore. This is nothing happening. This is emptiness appearing. This is spaciousness forming. This is all. This is it. There isn't another one. The need, the experience that there's something missing or needed is a dream. Would you say spaciousness forming as? Something? Not as anything, okay, it's just, just simply forming. this. Okay. But it's forming in the real time. Like there's nothing time. real. There's no real time. Apparently so. because of There's our... apparent time, but that's not real. Yep. And it's not unreal. So Did we have a conversation 15 minutes ago? Yes, we did. <laughs> did we? Well, it's apparently we have. Did we? Because of our memory. Did we? <coughs> well, yeah, we yeah, it's tough, isn't it? But isn't it because of that continuity, apparent continuity? But if you don't know if we had a conversation 15 minutes ago, where's the continuity? Yeah. It's not real. <laughs> it's only apparent. There's no need, the, the individual needs for it to be real because it's dependent on it, because it's looking for something. When there's no individual, there's no need for it to be real. And it's obvious, it never was. It's already not real. This is just an appearance. There's no depth to it. There's nothing behind it. It's not coming from anywhere. <clears throat> what do you mean by it's not unreal to Unreal? Yeah, I say it's not real. And it's, it's not, not unreal. unreal. Yeah. What do you mean by the unreal? Unreal. I mean, it's apparent. So it's not unreal. There appears to be something happening. But it's not really happening. There's no depth to it, but it's, but it's boundless. There's no depth to it, but it's boundless. Does <laughs> <laughs> real imply confirmation? Real implies, from, from here, real is implying that it matters in both senses of the word. That it's solid and it has meaning and purpose, that it matters. And then if you say it's unreal, doesn't that mean it's not real too? I didn't say it's unreal. I said it's not real or unreal. Exactly. It's not real or unreal. But what, what's the unreal part that I'm, I'm not getting the unreal? It's not unreal. So it's not it? unreal and it's not real. <laughs> what does it's not It's unreal? undefinable. What does it's, un it's unknowable. <laughs> What's the unreal mean? <laughs> that it's not real. You <laughs> <laughs> said it's not unreal. You can't. I mean, if you listen to that, what, that, that statement, there's nowhere to put a nail in. You can't get a hold of it. It's not real or unreal. So it's indefinable. 
or it is and it isn't. It's empty isness. Hmm. My Swami used to say illusion is an illusion, it doesn't exist. <laughs> the only illusion is the individual. Everything else is not real or real. It's just appear, appear, apparent. So is anything real? Nothing's real. <laughs> oh, fuck. Nothing is real? But it's not unreal. It's That's unknowable. What I mean. That's what I meant, it's the unreal part. I keep not getting that. No, you can't. Can't get not real either. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but somehow, like I, I understand, it's not real. Yeah. It's not unreal, and my mind keeps like, yeah, what, what's unreal? Totally. Okay. It's pointing to something that can't be gotten. I see. But that's what can't be gotten, is what's happening. It's not somewhere else. just like the denying the concept of being unreal as well. It's, there's no concept. Well, it's just pointing to it being unknowable. I mean, there's something very poignant about a group of apparent people who are, who developed as a way to obscure something. That's not how it is. Okay. Nobody decided to obscure it. Okay, but we are, or I, let me just say, I, um, <clears throat> I am obscuring. I um, am an obscuration, is that a word? Mm. Yeah, obscuring. Yeah. Yeah, I'm an obscuration. Yeah. I make this appear as, the, as, as something it's not. Yeah. Okay. So. Real. I feel that there's something very poignant about a group of apparent arisings here that are that. Mm. You know, sort of desperately trying to grasp something that's ungraspable. Mm. That's like... But that's the whole world. Yes. Mm. But that's... You, as you apparently, sitting in front of us, are in relationship to that all the time. Of course not. No, you're not in relationship no. to anything. Relationship is a dream. Right. Obscuration is a dream. <laughs> Nothing's really obscure. Is there a difference between saying it's neither real nor unreal and saying it's both real and unreal? Don't know. Do you think there is? No. For me, real and unreal, you can sort of get a hold of real. You can't get a real, you get a hold of unreal. But not real or unreal, because like, you can't get a hold of anything. Right. This can be gotten a hold of. Yeah. There's no need, either. The need comes out of the illusion, the experience that something's real or that something's separate. Because it's everything, there's no need to. Okay. At some point in these meetings, it seems like it would make more sense just to speak gibberish. Yeah, speaking in tongues. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> mm. uh, I thought that's what I was doing already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it clear that could, could somebody, an apparent somebody, uh, be doing the same thing that you apparently are doing and do it in the form of, say, an, a dance or drawing or something? I, I, think, I, think you're, I think you're misunderstanding. There's nothing happening. There's no doing happening. There's no intention happening. We're not going anywhere. This isn't about finding something or finding an answer. <clears throat> it's pointing out that the experience that there needs to be an answer is an illusion. I 
don't get that, I. And you can I, understand me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, let's just start with that. Let's start with let's that. Let's stop with that. Let's start with that. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I, I do understand yeah. that. And even this I believe. And nobody ever gets it. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, maybe this is just a thing I just. But. <clears throat> Is it language, this is my question, is it language that makes this so obscuring, so if we didn't... <coughs> no, absolutely not. Okay, that's... So there, there's no way. <coughs> there's no way because there's nothing that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. There's no need for a way. Okay. There's no where else. The individual is in the hope that there's somewhere else that's going to be better. Yes. Because this doesn't seem like enough. Yes. Yeah. That's well, a dream. Because there's nowhere else. missing in this, in this particular Well, that's the illusion. There yes. isn't anything yes. missing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There does seem to be like a collision of language going on. Well, actually it's a collision of realities. There's a reality that's demanding that there's separation which is real and there's something that's needed to happen to bring about what it's looking for. And then there's the, the response to that which says bullshit. Both things happen on intellectual level, bullshit and, and whatever's spinning there, right? Individual and... Well, th this isn't coming out of any intellectual understanding what's being shared. Oh, that one, I see. So, if we just stop thinking... Or all no, we already did that. There's, there's, there's all, all, thinking. Kind of, all, all kinds of mental activity, forget about thinking. No, 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 it's, it's nothing to do with mental activity. The individual thinks that, that, for the individual, thoughts and feelings are the biggest problem. So it thinks like if it could detach from them, yeah. Yeah, things would be better. This isn't about that. <laughs> what it can't do, and when it looks for solutions, is to imagine what it would be like without it. Mm -hmm. All of its solutions has it involved. Mm -hmm. And the suggestion here is, it's an illusion. Because you can't imagine it. We have to also drop that energy while no, we're not thinking. No, of course not. Nobody will ever drop it. This is hopeless. This is a completely hopeless sharing message. Hmm. You can't imagine what it's like to not be. To you be. can't imagine what it's like to not be. Yeah. The individual can't conceive of its own end. Yeah. But there's a lot of freedom in that hopelessness. Yeah. That, right? That is freedom. Yeah. It's the end of the whole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's this process that seems to happen, that seems to have been happening here, over here, which is this kind of like these attempts to escape, and then this kind of like, nope, nope. No, nope. mm -hmm. that kind of like uh, yeah. response of like, there's no escape. There's no escape. Did Did you say? Can you, you say something about freedom and hopelessness? Um, well, hope is always a projection into the next, another happening, another experience, which would be better than this one. Hope if you think about it, it's really quite a horrible thing. Mm -hmm. Because it's never this, it's always somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And hopelessness is the end of the need of something next. Mm -hmm. The need of an experience that's going to make this better, that's going to fix this. I thought hopelessness what had a feeling of despair, of giving up, yeah. giving up hope, yeah. rather than uh, that's not what we're talking about, though. That's, okay. that's not hopelessness. That's the me being in despair that hope isn't going to work. It's not going to work. Okay. What we're talking about, what I'm pointing to, is the end of hope. Okay. Not hopelessness, uh, but hopelessness. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's not me. Huh? Yeah, there's no me. Impressed. Is the me the activity of the seeking? The me, yeah, absolutely. Same thing. <clears throat> Why does it feel so good to sit here? It's just what's happening. 
there can be a real resonance with what being said here. For me, it's so intimate, the sharing. It just touches something else beyond the individual. Some people, not every all the time. It's quite a beautiful message when you stop trying to, you know, mm. stop tussling with it. Can be. <laughs> but stopping is also part of seeking. Um, if there's someone stopping. Yeah. 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 Don't stop. <laughs> I didn't get the sense that that's what he was saying. No, I'm sorry. Oh, it's like, yeah, when it, when it just, oh, just automatically just, so. you know, whatever. I think when you keep hitting that brick wall, it's like, I don't know, it kind of takes the wind out of you. Uh, Gene, this can sound like a really stupid question, but for example... There aren't stupid questions. Um, well, it's in all the circles, sometimes we hear... Uh, what? In those circles, oh, okay. mm -hmm. sometimes like you hear there's some sort of a validation for you. There's a what sort of? A validation. Validation. Then you would just like start speaking, and if there was if there was such anything that with you, or you just start speaking because there was no seeking anymore there, and then you just happened to be speaking the message. Sure. Are you asking why I started speaking? Yeah, or I didn't. You, you didn't, and there, there I was. I don't. No, you don't. You're no. not. But there was nobody. But there's no speaking there either. This isn't taking on some sort of specialness. There's just no one. No specialness. This isn't about becoming special. It's about ordinariness, mm -hmm. simpleness, simplicity. Simplicity in the sense of singularity. Simplicity in the sense that it's unimaginable, unknowable. So simple. It's radical. Very radical. Yeah, there's just what's happening. It's too simple to understand. Too simple to get. Yeah, absolutely. What is this validation we hear about? I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Validation. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say you are, you are sitting with someone and then someone says, okay, you are good to talk now. That kind of validation. Oh, right, right. Did somebody, did somebody give me validation? Do I have a lineage? Or what, is that what you're asking? Just validation to speak about it now, right. because now you completely disappeared. That's why. Did I? <laughs> I don't know. That's why I think my question is somehow stupid because I know it's not really appropriate, but at the same time we hear these things. And right. Is it? Is it like you're asking? There's, why there's do you no think validation. You huh? Are you asking him why do you think you should? You can talk about this. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. I think. Well, there's no validation. But there are teachers in the traditional spiritual world that have students that get their teaching, and the teacher asks, says, or tells them, "You can go out and teach." Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. maybe like Andrew Cohen. Andrew Cohen does not tell anybody that they could speak. No, no, well, but Papaji, only Andrew Papaji suggested to Andrew yeah. Cohen. Ladi Shanti does that. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's just something that happens. There's, There's no only what seems to be happening. It doesn't matter. Wait, Ladi Shanti does what? He approves people to speak? or? Uh, yeah, it's sort of approval. Or yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, do you get their stamp of approval? So that's nonsense? Yeah. It's just what happens. So why do they do it? Who okay, cares? I don't care. I don't know. <laughs> I guess there might be the experience that that person seems to know what I'm talking about. Please go tell people. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So what? Well, he also does silent retreats, doesn't he? Who does? Dadi Ashanti. Mm -hmm. You're gonna write up your fucking question before you dare to ask it. <laughs> You do what? You gotta write down. You write it up oh, and you know, you know, like he has to approve it, whatever. Fuck that guy. <laughs> 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 well, he only answers questions that he's seen before, you know, and so I don't even know, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't do you have an opinion, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
So you don't prepare these answers? I know, it's tough without Reed to hear, because normally we practice before we come to the meeting. Joke. <laughs> 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 All right, joke. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody thought that was true. Ken hates yeah. Reed. Yes. What's that? Ken hatred. Anything in the Blown out yeah. hatred. Anything in the <clears throat> In any side, like this side or that side, I know. Even in your side, if there's, there's simply there's... what's happening. There are no signs. There are no signs. Sides are part of the dream of the individual. The grass is always greener on the other side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is so destructible. This yeah. is everything. <laughs> no, no, you can't get there. The experience that you need to get there is a dream. It is also everything. You look up. <laughs> you can just drop into that and see it from from that point of view. You're not. You're not listening. There is no you to drop. The experience that you need to drop, or something needs to happen, is illusion. The illusion of separation. There is no separation. <laughs> this is a fine statement and a fine state to be in. And it's actually completely useless. And it has no intention of being useful. Have the need, to... exactly. <laughs> the need for the usefulness is the dream of the individual that something needs to happen. Nothing needs to happen. Nothing is going to happen. You will never get it. You got it. Oh, yeah, you didn't get it. <clears throat> do you go to work? Do you, do, I mean, do you have some earning? You do living? God has deemed me. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one here. No. Nobody does anything. But what might might not have been recognized is nobody does anything there either. There's just what's happening. Even from your point of view. Like There's no point of view. <laughs> nobody goes to work. Nobody does anything. There's nobody. seems more important, let's say, mm. this meeting, right? More important than being outside eating a hot dog. I know in a way it's the same, but I just keep noticing this insistence that this is more important than eating a hot dog in the corner. So that's just what's happening. That's what's happening because the individual is interested in what's important. Because it's looking for something that will identify where it thinks it's going to get what it needs and try to do that. It's a dream. There's nothing more important. There is no one making a choice. There's just what's happening. And why the individual is looking for what's important? Well, it's looking for what's missing. It's looking to fulfill the, the, the overwhelming need it has for so survival, for fulfillment, for wholeness to get over the experience, the, un the uncomfortable experience of separation, the contracted experience of me being here and everything being out there. And there's a threatening experience mm. that's trying to overcome that. Yeah, I can't feel that now. So then it, it looks to this setting. It will never overcome it. It's hopeless. It is that experience. But it could sense a release eventually. Well, it will never sense a release. I mean, when the seeking very much. Then it's no longer there. Then it's just not there. There's just what's happening. But discontinuity. 
Exactly. There's just simply what's happening. And that's a good thing. There's, there isn't anything good. Is meaning no, always or, just or bad? Mm -hmm. What's that? Does meaning always arise with Ab the individual? Absolutely. Immediately, so, immediately the individual, the experience by him, it covers the entire appearance with sort of a, a, a blanket of meaning and purpose. Mm -hmm. So every time meaning arises, then you could say, well, there is someone there. The, absolutely. Yeah. The individual <laughs> is meaning and purpose. Mm -hmm. It's part and parcel of the same thing. Just like me paint everywhere, huh? Me paint? Me paint everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. But there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing right or wrong with anything. Hey Jim, your camera just clapped out a minute. Oh, right. not a battery or Yeah, probably. The individual is desperate in a sense, right? Oh, it's desperate. It's fighting for its life, huh? Yeah, it is, actually. Yeah. yeah. Like desperation. And then when that ends, it's just it never happened. It was, yeah, it was all irrelevant, right? Yeah. yeah. It's hilarious. When that seemed to end, <laughs> is there not even a realization that this happened? Because there's no one to recognize it. It happened. didn't happen. There never was an individual. There is no individual. <laughs> so it's a good thing, right? <laughs> what is? <laughs> well, that, that, that. For there to be good, yeah, there would have to be some, some intention to what's happening. This would have to have another moment. Another, another where that is going to need good for that to become. If there's good, this can't be everything. Because good only functions within a context. Good and bad. That only functions within real movement, real happening. This isn't real. <laughs> So the traditional spiritual or religious idea that we're tending towards something greater is yeah. a real obstacle. Well, nothing's an obstacle because there's no real individual. There is already everything, even the experience that there's real intention. That's also everything appearing as intention. We're not, we're not actually trying to get anywhere here. This isn't about finding no me. There's no signposts. Zogchen talks about uh, no self. Zogchen, yeah. Yeah. So they're wrong? No, no. Zogchen seems to be like Long Chimpa. It seems mm. to be pretty good at pointing at this. Mm. Long Chimpa. Yeah. So it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ultimate. You don't listen. I'm sorry. You're not listening. But, 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 but. For them to get that another achievement, it, that's the thing. That's well, but it's not an achievement, man. It's already there. Yeah. yeah. So realization of not having that thing that always thought it was there. It but it's been. not a realization. It's the end of an experience that never happened. There already isn't anyone. This doesn't have any need. There is nothing missing. Nothing needs to happen. You're not going to get it. You aren't. That's disappointing. <laughs> nice going, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You are. Yeah. Oh, he says it's not liberating, so it's not a good thing. <clears throat> liberating's good. <laughs> also, for there to for it to there to be good, there had to be someone there to enjoy or evaluate whether it's good or bad. This has to have intention, absolutely. For it to be good and bad, there needs to be intention. And that's obviously the end of freedom. Intention is the end of freedom. Freedom. There's meaning and purpose. It's not free. Mm -hmm. It has to confine itself to that meaning and purpose. Mm -hmm. And the suggestion is this this appearance, this happening, is absolute freedom. But it there's could, no approach to it. There, where's, how would you approach everything? It's like the, that's what they call it, like the pathless path. Right? No, no. <laughs> is, that, is that what it is? No, there's no path. Exactly, pathless path. <laughs> <laughs> it's like riddles. <clears throat> Jimmy, you ever get this stuff? <laughs>
I'm starting to. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Joke. Joke. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> but seriously. You made that really easy. <sighs> okay. <coughs> This isn't about what's happening. This isn't about a particular object or a particular happening. It's, a, it's, it's pointing to there's only what's happening. And that happening is completely empty. It's simply the absolute appearing. Freedom happening. Unconditioned appearance. This is ungraspable, unknowable, unhavable. So the appearance. This is home already. Including if there's a negative emotion or. Totally. It's only the individual that comes in and says, I shouldn't have that, because it has an idea of what this should look like, because it has the experience that something's missing, and so it has an entire story about how it's going to find it. When there's no one left, there's just an emotion, there's just a thought. So this you're always home. This is home. For no one. Home for no one. Thank you. Mm. Keep me straight. <laughs> yeah, totally. Because I see the because I see the the, 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 where the place itself goes. It's like oh, this is home. Oh, great, this is yeah. home. Yeah. yeah. So like, what was the no distinction one. you made? Of for no one. Home to no okay. one. Okay. Okay. The, the apparent circumstances make no difference on what There are no circumstances. Apparent circumstances. There's just what's happening. You're not going to be able to put it in a box. Is that every question here? The attempt to put it in a box? Well, not every. I don't know. No. Not every I don't know. A lot of questions. Yeah. Or how does it relate to me? So there's no way you can go back and describe how was your seeking path, how were you, how you were going about, dabbling into different kind of non-duality, quite of the Whatever it could be described is simply what's happening. It doesn't mean anything. Nothing means anything. <clears throat> Nothing is going to help you. I'm just curious how you were before and after, and that's all. Yeah. Not that I'm looking for some kind of clues or insights. No, no, not necessarily. Just I'm just curious what you like. It didn't happen. Okay. It's like to me drags the whole story with it. Well, it is the whole story. Yeah. But it's not actually a big thing. It's 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 minuscule, insignificant. The irony is the minuscule thing seems to have an effect. Oh, it seems huge. huge oh, it seems huge. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> well, it seems everything. It seems to be. Yeah. <coughs> Jim, did you ever have mushrooms? Like magic mushrooms? This, this isn't an experience that we're talking about. Oh. Yeah. Why is it... Uh, sometimes frustrating to hear this message. Well, it's a horrible so, message. It's probably the worst thing you'll ever hear. Well, I was thinking... Because it doesn't give you... It doesn't actually acknowledge you. Yeah. And you are there needing to be acknowledged and needing to find something. And the suggestion is there is no you and nothing you can find. It doesn't get any worse. Mm -hmm. Right. That is... Kind of, yeah. I yeah. can understand why that would be frustrating. Um, but I was thinking, in a way, it's a positive message because you're saying it's actually nothing completely wrong. neutral. Yeah. But it has I'm, no, I'm sitting here saying there's has, something wrong. It has no me. charge in it at all. Yeah, but okay. by saying there's nothing wrong, that 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 positive, that need, has nowhere to be, has no solution, has no answer to it. <clears throat> this message is often heard yeah. as negative because it has no charge at all. It has no value. It's completely neutral. I go in and out of like feeling good about it and yeah, then, exactly. um, 
We can't do anything else. Just like frustrated. Positive, negative, positive, yeah. negative, positive, negative. Oh, that's great. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't either. Only to the dream of the individual, which is a complete illusion. But it's frustrating because it's given nothing to the totally. uh, the me. Totally. And the me doesn't like that or something. No, it hates this. If you knew, if it, the me really knew it was being said, it would never come. Mm -hmm. So it can't even really hear the. No. What's it never hears said. it. It's never heard. The me never hears it. The me just dies. Okay. Yet it still recognizes it as being kind of a hostile message to it. Oh, of course. So well, couldn't yeah. you have to kind of understand the message? It's what that? You're saying the me doesn't even hear the message. It but can't hear. I'm it. saying, well, since it. It kind of perceives the message as being. It'll hear it as negative it. because it wants. It's a positivity that wants something for itself, and there's nothing on offer, so that will be perceived as hostile or negative or nihilistic. Mm -hmm. But the message itself actually has no charge at all. It's completely neutral. So it has no it, intention. It misperceives the message. It as misperceives hostile. everything. It says, "I perceive." That's a misperception. There is no I. Can there be a perception without an I? No, perception is no longer. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> <coughs> There's just what's happening. Good. Perception is no longer? Perception is a story. Perception? Yeah. Like I'm perceiving, I'm creating, the eye is creating. The creator doesn't do anything, it takes ownership. When there's no one left, there's no one taking ownership, it's just what's happening. So perceiving is owning somehow? Absolutely. Mm. Oh. Can't there be perception without a me? There's no perception without me. Why? Who would perceive? The body? Well, I mean, you could talk about a function, a brain function of perception. That's oh. just a story, though. Like senses. The senses. But if you're saying senses, that's still perception. That's yeah. still a story. Oh. There's no awareness. There's no, the there's, no where, there's no where for it to happen. There's simply everything <coughs> happening. And there's no awareness. It no couldn't objectify anything. Where would, the, where would the subject come from for there to be an object of, sens of senses or perception? There's no distance. There's no distance. There's no time. There's no distance. There's no perceiver. There's no perceiver. There's only the infinite. The story is there's a perceiver or an aware thing that's inside the body. But oh, yeah. I'm aware. I'm conscious. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's all a story. It's all a story. That's awesome. Mm. <coughs> it's it seems like the first fact would be that there there is consciousness. Oh, by the of course. Way, even if there is no I present, even if it is empty, yeah. even if it is yeah. there's no story attached to yeah. it. The fact that there is something yeah. isn't that consciousness? There isn't something. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't point to it, but uh, the, I mean, wouldn't you call the consciousness? Absolutely not. not. When there's an individual, the individual sees or perceives object. Mm -hmm. There's a subject and an object. Mm -hmm. That covers over the natural reality of there being no subject or object, there being only absolute freedom or the absolute or the unconditioned. Mm. When there's no one in here, there's simply everything apparently happening. Mm. No one knows that. So just saying consciousness would imply some sort of duality. Saying anything would imply duality. Mm. So there's no consciousness needed to like Nothing needed. register what the eyes are seeing and then act on that? Absolutely not. 
But even saying, registering what the eyes are seeing and acting on it is a story. Mm -hmm. Okay. Instead, it there's just it all what's just happens. There's just what's happening, <coughs> which has no position and no knowing. It's immediately everything. That was very tiny, Mike. I know. <laughs> that was very profound. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> immediate seems like a really good word. Yeah. Immediate, yeah, mm -hmm. for this. But you are saying things at the same time. It's not dual. I'm not saying anything. It's not. You're not saying anything either. <laughs> I'm not here saying anything. No. There's no. You me. didn't do that. There's no me speaking now. No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> there's just this impersonal happening. Well, impersonal is also a bit of a story, but absolutely, there's just happening. Yeah. But I think the thing, the thing with the calling it consciousness is, is personalizing. It's the self personalizes and says, "Oh, everything's consciousness." Mm. But for me, consciousness has a sense of knowing too, uh -huh. or an intelligence as well. Yeah, mm. yeah. As if this was somehow intelligent. Yeah. Or knowable, mm -hmm. perceivable. Mm -hmm. What about arising? How is that word? It, uh, what's that? Yeah, you could say arising. But it's not arising out of nothing or out of the absolute. It is the absolute being, words. There's no distance, space, or time in it. Those are just appearances. As consciousness implies distance. Uh, totally. Knowing. Right. Right. Awareness, consciousness. Right. right. Jim, if you're saying all oh, these little things, aspects you described are part of the story, which is the story, so would it be fair to say if I'm looking at Jim Newman, it is Jim Newman minus the story. Whatever you are, all of that remaining minus the story. The, the trouble is that you're looking. <laughs> That's a dream. Yeah, okay, there's so, something inside there uh, saying I know what's happening uh, and I take ownership uh, of it and then there's uh, an object outside of it. Well, this, well, this is profound. <laughs> 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 this is, this is, wow. So who wants to be acknowledged? Huh? Who wants to be acknowledged? I always want to be acknowledged. Mm -hmm. The eye is endlessly in the search of acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it feels like something's missing. Mm -hmm. It feels like something's wrong with it. But why they, they, or with the world. Why the acknowledgement would give that... Well, it doesn't satisfy. It never, ne the individual can never be satisfied because the individual is the experience of separation and no amount of acknowledgement ever fulfills or bridges that gap. He still feels that way. It's hopeless. Whatever. No matter so, what happens, it never bridges the gap of separation where it experiences itself to be. Mm -hmm. Is it, isn't um, seeking acknowledgement just a way for the self to try to reify itself? Well, yeah, I mean, it's okay. a way of feeling good. I mean, it will seek out good experiences. It will uh, just try to find yeah. something, something to satisfy the need that it has. Anything. Mm -hmm. But also to, to reify that it's real, because then if other it's Seeking other. reifies it real. It doesn't have to be acknowledged. It could be anything. Mm. <clears throat> so to be acknowledged is like uh, one angle of many to reinforce the Anything that the individual, yeah, absolutely. It's all a dream of the individual that comes out of the experience that this is dualistic, that there's an I here and there's something outside. That is not happening. It's a dream. Mm. 